I would like the audience to think of their best friend or the closest person in their lives and think to themselves, what if that person were to tell something about me to another person? Would they say good things? Would they say funny things? Would they say kind of weird things about you? Or would they say very negative things about you? Would they drag your character? Would they talk about you in a way that you wouldn't like? You'd probably feel hurt about that if that occurred, right? Well, I wouldn't. And I did feel hurt because I had friends that did not appreciate me, that spoke very heinous of me behind my back, that doubted my success, and did not speak of me in the way that I thought that they would. And today I'm gonna to be highlighting all of the negative and positive experiences in my life that shaped me to be, to, to, that shaped me throughout all my experiences in my life, and then also my path to success and how I overcame all of those obstacles. And the first, the, and firstly, the snowball effect that really started off all the events in my life was in middle school. That's when I first started to experience raw emotion. You know, in, in middle school, you're not so much fo you're not so focused on how you're feeling, but that's when my feelings started to really develop because of all those experiences. And it really led to me hanging out with the wrong friends who kind of doubted my success and treated me in a very poor way. And it did lead me to attempt suicide at one point. I did not want to be in a situation where I had no way out, I had no friends, I had no chances of succeeding, and I just thought I could end it. And it was a very, very tumultuous point in my life. I realized after that happened that I had to get help. I couldn't stay in the same situation longer than what I was already in. And I sought help, I talked to counselors at school, I distanced myself from almost everybody, and I didn't like the way that I responded to that situation by attempting that, but at the same time, I am I was able to overcome it and by speaking to the right people and distancing myself from everyone else. And by doing that, I was able to really change the way I was. I had a little more drive in my life. I made the right friends. I was able to tell right from wrong. And at the end of the day, I was able to go in the right direction. And then came high school. And high school, I was very nervous to attend because in high school, I was going to a different school in a different neighborhood compared to my middle school and elementary school being only a mile away. So it was a little bit of a crazy experience for me, but at the end of the day, I met some really great friends who I still talk to to this day, and compared to middle school, these people were really amazing, and they didn't judge me for who I was. I really did enjoy that, that I didn't feel judged for the kind of actions that I make or the kind of personality that I have, and that was really great to see. But at the, at the same time, not everything's perfect, and I still had conflict outside of school with my closest friend, and it was a lot of, and it had to do with a lack of communication. I didn't have a lot of communication with him, and that led to me not feeling good about myself and also me kind of lacking as far as my relationships in school. And I was able to overcome that. I was able to learn my lesson by talking to people more and expressing how I truly feel. And now that I look back at it, I really do appreciate the times where I did express my emotions and I did make friends with the right people and be able to tell the people who are not there for me and the people who are there for me. Then came college, and while I did say that my friends from high school were very meaningful to me, and they still are, I realized I had to move on on to bigger and better things. And college was very scary for me at first because, you know, you're going to a completely different area where you don't know anybody, and they're coming from all different parts of life, from all over the world. But I looked at that in a good way. Why am I going to prevent myself from making friends just because they're, these people are different from me? Maybe I can gather a new perspective. Maybe I can go to different parts of the world and experience new things and change my own personality for the better. And that's exactly what I did. But while I was doing that, and I'm still doing it to this day, I'm currently going through a conflict right now with that same best friend of mine from high school. That, and he doesn't go to my high school. He is currently. He does. We do live an hour away from each other, but we do still maintain that we are very close friends, but right now I'm dealing with a very big conflict with him where it's obviously the same communication issue. And I haven't spoken to him in over a month, but it has also taught me that I cannot change my, I cannot change other people and their actions. All I can change is myself and the way I respond to every event that occurs. And I've been able to, this lesson has really allowed me to stay awoke, wait, woke in this last semester. And I feel like I'm on a pretty good track, but while things were improving and I have improved in my relationships, my success in school was not always the way it was, it is, that how it is now. 
I never had a lack of drive. I had a lack of drive in middle school. I didn't want to do things. I didn't want to take a part in events, stand up in front of a class, give a great speech. I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to sit back, be the introvert that I was, and let the class finish. I didn't, I, but I didn't like that. I wanted to get up, but I just didn't know how to. I was too focused on the insignificant distractions, like all the relationships in my life. That was preventing me from being who I wanted to be in my life. But then I really craved success. I wanted, but I didn't have the resources to do it. How was I supposed to do it? I talked to people. There was a very, very, very kind girl in high school who told me she was graduating three years or was graduating a year early and was attending Oxford University. And I told myself, I want to be that girl. Why can't I be that person who's preaching expectations, who's going past surpassing expectations and being the person that is going to be at the top of the world. Why can't I do that? And then I, I, I told myself, because my perspective isn't broad enough. I had to step out of my comfort zone. I needed to be somebody who can push beyond boundaries and fight towards the end. And as I did that, I got a taste for what success was. I never imagined myself being the president of a student council. I never imagined myself doing things by by speaking up in front of a classroom and taking a part of Sony events at Pepperdine. I didn't imagine attending Pepperdine in the first place, but here I am now. Because of my ability to shift my perspective and broaden who I wanted to hang out with and who I wanted to, and the kind of risks that I wanted to take. If I never took any risks, I wouldn't be where I am today. And finally, I look at myself now. I, do I want more success in my life? Yes, I do. Do I want to break more records? I want to break even more records than I'm already doing. And overall, I went from the student who was an introvert in my middle school class not wanting to do anything to the extrovert who was attending a renowned university who's on to bigger and better things. And I still ask myself when looking in the mirror, am I a piece of trash? Did I deserve the harsh treatment from my friends during middle school and high school today in college? Do I not have any goals in my life? Well, my answer to that is no. Because my name is Sahaj Basim, and I am the mogul of an empire that I'm still building to this day. And as the mogul rapper Jay-Z once said, without work, there is no magic. Thank you. Hmm.